Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I'm sure everybody out there by now knows that the people who are trying to pass these gun control laws know absolutely nothing about what they're trying to pass. Case in point... I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Now that clip became an instant classic and it was really the subject of memes everywhere. But if you think that it ends there and that the person who said that learned their lesson, maybe I shouldn't talk about things I don't know about because, well, everybody's gonna notice, well, you'd be wrong because the hits just keep coming and I've got another great one for you. So pay attention to what she says next. This video is sponsored by Safe Life Defense and their Hyperline Ballistic Vest. This vest is absolutely incredible. It's extremely comfortable. It is ultra lightweight and it is super thin at less than two tenths of an inch thick. It'll still stop up to a 44 mag at level 3A and I put this thing to the test. So definitely worth checking out. If you take your armor seriously, check out Safe Life Defense and that Hyperline vest. So you might remember that I recently made a video talking about the House Judiciary Subcommittee on ATF Oversight and talking about the overreach and the new brace rule and some of the comments and arguments that were made. And there is one thing when I watch that that I always come away laughing at because the same person who made the mistake of showing that she knows absolutely nothing about what she's talking about in that first clip is also the same person that made another statement showing she doesn't even know about the branch of government that she works in and its own bureaucracies when she said this. As far back as 1886, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives have been one of the countries, this country's most important federal agencies. So after watching that video, I was thinking to myself, wait a second, didn't I just make a video about that like six months ago, talking about the timeline of the ATF and how really it kind of spurred from the IRS, the Department of Treasury. So I went ahead and I double checked and sure enough, it wasn't actually created. That bureau was not created until 1972. As a matter of fact, it was July of 1972. Things like the NFA and the GCA were all created by the Department of Treasury. And that's why we have the tax stamp, right? That's because it was all Department of Treasury back then. It wasn't created until 1972. So everything that happened prior to that was all again Treasury. So they haven't existed since 1972. And we're looking at, you know, just over 50 years now that they have actually been in existence when she seems to think it's more like 150 years so not only does she not know what she's talking about in that first clip, which just shows an outstanding level of ignorance uh, for somebody who's actually trying to take away one of our enumerated rights, uh, trying to take away one of our rights, but you don't even know anything about it. And at the same time, you don't even know anything about the bureaucracies that seem to be running things and are totally out of control these days. So I just wanted to share that with you because again, these are the people that are creating our laws. You know, Congress is there to create law. Uh, obviously, they're there for oversight and other things as well. But really what Congress is there to do is supposed to be to, to keep the population safe and create laws that would you know, help do that in our defense and stuff, not to try and take away our rights. Because again, the Constitution is just rules for government to follow. It's They're trying to say, hey, you can't cross these lines. But yet, they try and do it all the time anyway, whether it's through the bureaucracies or through laws, rulemaking, changes, whatever it is that they want to call it. But I just wanted to show you guys that the level of ignorance here is absolutely astounding. And again, uh, it's the same person. So anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and you guys have a great day.